Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to insert tables into Microsoft Word. First, go to your Insert tab at the top on your ribbon, and near the left you'll see the table entry. So when you click on the table entry, there's several options on how to insert a table. The first one is this visual grid, and as you move over to the right, you'll see that so many columns will appear in your document. And as you move down, you'll see that many rows appear. Whenever you're satisfied, if this size, uh, if this grid is sized appropriately enough for you to build your table that you need, uh, just click and the table will be committed and appear within your document as you see here. Now I'm going to press Control Z to undo that step and we'll look at some of our other options. So back to the Insert tab and the Table Entry. The next option down is Insert Table, and this is your uh, little dialog box where you can numerically uh, set options, right? So here, if we wanted seven columns across and four rows high, we could set that. Um, here we can fit our, uh, or set our column widths with our auto fit behavior. So fixed column width, when it's set to auto, you'll get the type of table that we've already seen that spans margin to margin and equally spaced, right? But if you needed uh, a quarter inch uh, column size, for example, you could you could set that here. Uh, here, for example, it's about a third of an inch. Uh, and if you just keep going down towards zero, uh, you can set it back to auto. Okay, and then uh, auto fit to contents is an option where you'll get uh, the, the table will be basically compressed. It would be very, very narrow left to right, and it will expand uh, as you add content to the cells, right? And auto fit to window is, um, again, essentially what we, uh, we've already seen where uh, it will be equally spaced between the margins of your document. And if you want to set the default for both this area and the visual grid at the top, you can check this box here, remember dimensions for new tables, and click OK. And that uh, the default set applied to the visual grid at the top don't include, of course, the numerical values. Um, it'll just include the auto fit behavior, right? So here's the table that we built using that dialog. And let's back out of that, control Z, and go in and look again at some of the other options. So now here we have the draw table option, which is actually very flexible. If you if you click on that, and then you get this little pencil icon that you can draw with, then you can, you can start, it'll start with the uh, corner, click and drag, and you'll see uh, a very light box. They could have made it a bit heavier for uh, visual cues, but you can basically draw a box. And when you let go, the box will uh, commit to the size that you have uh, in the preview, right? Now, of course, this is just the outer edge of a table. Now you can actually draw the vertical lines that define the columns. And you can draw the horizontal lines that define the rows. Right. So if you have a uh, sort of a custom table size uh, and spacing that you want to implement, this is a fabulous way to do that. So this anchor here, um, we can right click here and look at some of the options available. We can uh, insert columns to the left, to the right, insert rows above and below wherever we happen to be within the table. Um, in this case, we're not actually in the table, so that wouldn't work so well. But uh, when you've selected the whole table by clicking on that little icon, we can delete the table or distribute rows evenly or distribute columns evenly, which are options that are often very useful um, You know, when, when you're tweaking your content and uh, table visuals. There's also border styles that you can play with, right? And uh, some auto fit behaviors to set. Right. If you uh, need to do that after the fact uh, and, and didn't realize you needed something different when you initially built the table. 
right? And uh, there's other table properties that we can look at here, uh, you know, having it wrapping to the left or center or to the right, for example, and the text wrapping behavior. Um, there's also tabs for rows and columns and cells. So there's several options that you can play with. We'll click OK and see that uh, since I set it to the right, it now moves over to the right. Now let's delete this table altogether because there's another option we can take a look at, which is, uh, let's put our cursor back here, go back to the Insert tab, go to Table, and uh, you can either import an Excel spreadsheet if you have a, an existing spreadsheet that you'd like to insert into your document. Uh, or we have this quick tables option here with uh, several pre-built table styles, right? Um, for example, this tabular list, we can click on that and uh, it gives us a table with some default content in it, which of course you can replace. And, uh, you know, that way you don't have to think of a design for yourself. Hopefully this has helped. You insert tables into your Microsoft Word document. Thanks for watching.